Now, we all know, don't we, that security is tight at airports and for staff who work airside operationally, completing training, getting licences and obtaining approval simply to work can be a time-consuming process. AirDAT is working to make that a thing of the past thanks to the digital services they provide, making life easier and, more importantly, improving safety at airports worldwide. Lewis Vaughan-Jones explains. It's first thing in the morning here at Gatwick Airport and as you can see it's pretty busy, not just with planes and passengers. Every day hundreds of contractors are working here, airside, and they all need the right training. Safety is crucial in these situations. Airside drivers have to follow strict regulations, obtaining and renewing the necessary training and permits to keep everyone as safe as possible. Ian Chalk is head of Environment, Health and Safety here at Gatwick Airport. He's been working with AirDAT to come up with the right system. The product has been designed to help people understand the risks associated with working airside, but also to record and understand their knowledge. One of the many, many benefits to the system as we see it are the, um, is the ability for the end user to, to see where they're compliant, to see what training is available. Staff and contractors can download the AirDAT app onto their smartphones. I open the app, this is me, this is showing my qualifications, expired and valid training. So that's the end user, what else has it got? OK, so as an administrator, I can use the QR code and the detail held there to give me live, real-time information. This was a really good opportunity to say, how can technology support us in A, being accurate, but B, being efficient? And I think it does both. This is a refresher, we are all experienced drivers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to update you on whatever has changed since you last took this training. This is an AirDAT refresher course. Drivers are being taken airside and brought up to date with the latest safety information that they need. There's also a classroom element where knowledge and competencies are recorded. This system is simpler for staff and users. A lot more confidence if I was driving out there, all the rules and regulations, the fines, health and safety, just refreshes everything. It's very straightforward. Um, it, uh, it allows the, the, the people to maintain a track on their uh, training requirements, uh, which is quite handy because in, a, in an environment like a, uh, an airport, um, manda mandatory training it's a must that it's up to date. <laughs> AirDAT hasn't just made things simpler for the end user, it's made it easier for the administrators too. What I get is a centralised area which stores all our training records and ensures that uh, we remain uh, compliant and competent with our team. It's removed a lot of paper-based um, documentation, Excel spreadsheets, so I've got a, a one-stop shop of knowing where all our team are. And the technology also means the airport can track things like incident hotspots and flag up companies displaying good and bad practices. AirDAT do a great piece for us of uh, onboarding with any new companies that wish to operate airside. They ensure that they're compliant and they meet all the regulatory requirements, um, have the right uh, liability and insurances. So they do a, a great piece of work for us, uh, which is very time consuming previously. AirDAT was formed in 2006 and first used here at Gatwick. It's now in airports right around the world. I think our success here at Gatwick and around the world is down to building software that people enjoy using. Our company values of proactive, evolving, confident and supportive are built into every product and service that we provide, meaning that our customers get modern, up-to-date software that is fully supported by our team. With safety always the number one priority, the technology is helping promote transparency, efficiency and driving up standards.